Ah, screw it. We'll do one more for today. Welcome back to more Steel Battalion. Let's move forward. I doubt I've gotten a new VT. Seven Special Panzer Division ceased their attack after the capturing of Jian Ta Naval Port. New Type VTs were deployed on short notice from the Expeditionary Support Unit as a means to intensify the strengths of the division. They were the second generation model, the M8 Prominence M1, and the lightweight assault model RW-103 Blade. <laughs> so the Prominence M1 is your go-to mech in this game. It's just good. Now, I can still keep running the decider in these missions and do fine, but the M1 gives you a bit more versatility, more armor, more balance, everything else. The Blade is a falchion on crack. God, the Blade is nuts. Mission 5. Keen Lin Toon. Clean sweep operation. Oh boy, cutscene. Don't tell me that's the new type VT. Looks like it came right out from a garbage compactor. Ah, I'm a softy for the old school. I still prefer my first gens. Anyways, to the briefing. As you all know, we've received reinforcements from the mainland with the M8 Prominence and the RW-103 Blade in order to intensify our division's strengths. However, the newest weapon, the Railgun, and additional armor for the M8 Prominence, which were scheduled to be deployed at the same time, were intercepted yesterday by the same guerrilla units that attacked the supply units. Three cases were stolen. Our local contact reported that they are in the hands of a gorilla called King Lin Tun at their base village. Your assignment is to attack the village and recover all three cases. We believe you'll need to operate your manipulators in order to complete this assignment. Therefore, you may want to read over the manipulator operation section of the manual if you've forgotten anything. Basically, I showed it off in the first mission. You get a little grabby arm and you just pick up things. Alright, so, reinforcements. We've got two new mechs. The Prominence M1, which you can see is got about the same speed as the Decider. About the same stabilizer. But its durability is way higher, but its torque is meh. But its veering efficiency is much, much better, and it also has maximum fuel capacity. The blade is a bit faster than the Falchion. Better stabilizer. Better durability. Light, slightly more torque. And it turns a lot better. And its fuel capacity is meh. Uh, this mission... God, do I want to use the blade? I want to show it off. Okay, well anyways, let's, let's look at this. So the Prominence is made by Komatsu LS, second generation to medium type. Okay, so the same people made the, uh, the Decider. This one's made by WM, same people made the Falchion. Second generation light. Okay. You know what, we're going to run the blade this one. Run the Prominence in the next mission. No, the blade is everything the Prominence M1 is, and just better at it. And it comes with new assault rifles. Okay, first of all, no. No, no. We'll go over all the weapons here in a second. I just, no. Okay, so we have a 200 assault rifle, a 270 assault rifle, which is just basically that thing, but just better. So we're going with that. There's a 270 rifle, which is... And then we got our standard machine guns. So we're with upgrade to a 140 machine gun. I don't care about the missile launchers because it's a dual missile launcher. It's crap. Just get rid of that. And can I do two? Can do one. Uh, let's see. One chain gun. Is that going to be enough? You know, we'll grab a second one just to have it. And wait, two. It's got extra ammo for it. Let's roll. So now we get to see the second gen cockpit. God, that 
that is something I'm going to miss from the line of contact is those other cockpits that you can get. There was even rare uh, colored cockpits for getting like the first 10 of a series of, of suit or every 100. 100 suit had like a different colored cockpit. I used to have some of the behemoths. They were pretty cool. Um, I think I had a couple blades before. But yeah, it's really freaking sweet. When you lost one, you were just like, no! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking cool. Ooh, we actually have a big screen now. We're upgrading people. Okay, so to go over everything in this monstrosity, the gear lever lever is now. Oh, okay, it's right there. Okay, I see it. Okay, so that's reversed. That's, okay. Okay, gear, the gear lever is still in the same spot. Um, there's still four yellow lights to the left of the gear lever. That's your health. The one on the left of that is your uh, hydraulic gauge. I think should be. Yeah. Uh, the thing above that, I believe, is the radio. Okay, we gotta go. I didn't know the mission started. Okay, so we got our main weapon listed at the top. Oh, this thing turns like a dream. Was that a chopper shooting at me? Well, you wanna go, baby? Down for an aircraft for breakfast in War Thunder. What makes you think you're going to do better against me? <laughs> Alright, so. I'm still trying to figure. Oh no, that's your fuel tank. Okay, that's current fuel tank, and I'm on the reserve tank. Now, another thing this thing gets is the override overdrive system, which allows me to replenish my hydraulic gauge way faster than normal. Where are you going? Ah! This thing's pretty fast. Um, Whoa, look out, buddy. shots.
Wild Hunt. And that is how you slam on the brakes. <laughs> I don't know how much chaff I got left, I can't tell, but... These scumbags. They missed. Our crap. I'll kill everything you hold dear. a little face, but we got it. <laughs> there. We recovered all of the optional parts for the Providence M1. We should build the Providence M2. Which is useless and crap. Basically a dump truck with a rail gun equipped to it. Alright, so we did the mission a decent time. Blah, 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 blah. I killed 41 anti-tank infantry for 10 bucks a piece. Dang. Alright guys, that's going to be all I'm going to do for today so far. Um, stay tuned for more.